This hotel room is beautiful. I'm here to enjoy myself is what I am here for. Why is she giving me like men's fragrance samples? That was very bold of her to assume that I have a man in my life. Could they make like a French martini? Is that okay? This looks so good. I need to eat it right now. Let's get that bill per chin chin cheerio. Hello angels, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Emma Thompson Hill. Thank you for joining me today. So I have been stressed lately. I've been stressed with business, I've been stressed with life, trying to juggle everything, feel like I can't do it. It's just been getting to me, to my spirit, to my soul. So I really feel like I needed a pamper. I needed like a weekend to myself where I was just, could just chill and just have some me time, have some alone time. And so today this is exactly what we're doing. It literally came at the perfect time. One of my good friends works for an amazing hotel in Manchester called The Lowry. I've stayed there before on my birthday. Every time my mum and dad come to Manchester, they always stay there. It's just a wonderful hotel. And my friend works there and she was like, hey, like, do you wanna come like and stay for the for a night? Come and stay for a night and you can like have a massage in our spa. And I was like, girl, this has come at the exact right moment. So I thought I'd bring you guys with me. I'm going on a cute little staycation by myself. I feel like I'm smiling so wide right now because I'm just so happy that I'm doing this for myself. Pouring back into myself, investing in myself. So I'm about to set off from mine now. The hotel's literally 10 minutes from my house, but I'm just so excited because I feel like this is really dedicated self-care. So I'm gonna head to the hotel now. I've already packed my bag, like I'm literally going for one night, so I've just packed like some pamper stuff and my pajamas and my laptop, them kind of vibes. So I'm gonna go over there. I think I might like take myself shopping. I feel like just going to have a nosy and sell fridges. Like I don't really go shopping in person that much. So since I'm gonna be like near to town, I'm gonna go shopping. Um I feel like I might go for a drink at the bar in the hotel and I'm 100 million percent ordering room service. So I'm gonna do room service and it's just gonna be good. Like I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna come with me on this night, this staycation and hopefully it'll feel like you're with me or like it'll just give you some inspo to just give yourself a little pamper even if it's just doing a face mask at home babes. So we're gonna head out now. I'll see you when we get there. Also, before we get into it, this is my outfit. So my coat is from Misguided. It's like this two-in-one vibe. I've got this old ASOS top on. My jeans are from New Look. They're my favorite mum jeans at the moment. Look how nice they are. I'll link them because they were out of stock for ages and now they've come back in stock. So I'll link them for you guys. Shoes are just Jordans. My belt is ASOS from a long time ago. Earrings are from Image Gang. I can't remember where I got this necklace. It's just an E. It might have been from like Boho Moon, that, that kind of website. Rings are all image gang, that one's ASOS. Yeah, glasses are from Ace and Tate because I always get asked about my glasses. So yeah, I'm even gonna order an Uber. I'm not even driving there. I'm fully gonna order an Uber. Like this is a real holiday vibe, staycation. <sighs> okay, I just got here. I'm gonna give you a room tour. I haven't even seen my coat off. Okay, I need to see my coat off and get too excited. <sighs> this hotel room, beautiful okay let's go so here's the door you come in here and it looks like this to the right we have a little walk-in wardrobe so tea and coffee oh this looks nice nice tea over here tea and coffee over here the safe obviously the hairdryer big mirror which i really won't be needing but i love how big this mirror is we have the little slippers down here then here's the bathroom. This is so beautiful. Oh, it has a bidet. Okay, so obviously we've got nice, lots of nice art on the walls, the robes, toilet and bidet. I love the matte black fixings. We have a big mirror here, big sink with the little, everything is like, oh, everything matches. That is so satisfying to me. And we have, oh, molten brown in the bathroom. Wow, this shower. It's huge. You could fit like five people in there. That's what I'm gonna try. This shower is beautiful, rainfall. And then the other, oh my God, it's so pretty. Coming out, and this is the room. I love how high the ceilings are. Oh my goodness. 
So we've got the bed over here, it looks so comfy. Some more art on the walls, I love that. Cause sometimes you go to hotels and they're just a bit bare, like what's going on? This has art on the walls. Oh my God. Then it has a little chaise lounge over here. This light is beautiful, I love this. We have a little seating area over here. And look at this guys, this actually <laughs> made me so happy. Welcome to the Larry Hotel, Emma. How cute is that? Then we have an espresso machine. Oh, this is a fancy Nespresso machine. TV. We have the mini bar in here. Oh shoot, what's gonna be in the mini bar? Wait, is it locked? What's in it? Why can't I open it? Oh my God, look at the mini Patron. Can you see that? Damn. No. Wow. Interesting. Hmm. 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 I really messed up because I should have brought a bottle of wine with me. I had one in my fridge at home and I didn't. But I like to look at the um, snack bar menu. We have some biscotti thins, orange and pistachio and cardamom. This is fancy. Gourmet popcorn, salted caramel. We got Piper's crisps. Why they, they all look like presents. We got some smoked nuts. These nuts? What's this? Vimto juicy mix-ups. Manchester, everything's Manchester based. Wasabi nuts and yogurt, cranberry, wait what? Yogurt, cranberry and raisins. And we have some sort of Toblerone going on here. And some honey. I'm so excited and I'm so happy. I also have breakfast in the morning, which I'm very excited about. And this is the room service menu. I will definitely be ordering from that later on. Also, let's look at the outside view. How do we, okay. Oh my God. This is our view. It's so sunny right now, but this is the bridge that you can walk across into town. And that's like literally spinning fields is over there. But we're right on the water. You can't really see, like it's reflecting back at me. But how gorgeous. So right now, I'm gonna have a drink of water. I'm just gonna spruce myself up and then I'm gonna head out to Selfridges. Maybe do some shopping. I think I need to go to Boots as well. Guys, why am I like smiling so much? I've honestly had like a rude, not, I haven't been like sad, sad, but I've been like having not the best time over the past like month or so. I've just been stressed and I think I really need this. So I'm just excited that I'm doing this for myself and spending some time by myself. I love spending time by myself, guys, honestly. Well, it's not like I'm by myself because you're here too, but it's like, I mean, I'm here right now on my own. There's only a camera right now, but yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna buy something for myself. I'm gonna mooch and if I see something I like, I'm gonna let myself, I might treat myself. But I don't like to like, I definitely won't be buying any like handbags or anything expensive, expensive, because I need time to think about those purchases. I'm not just an off the whim person like that. It stresses me out. I'll see you when I go shopping. I'm back from my shopping spree. I just went to Selfridges um, and then I went to Boots. And I was looking at the accessories in Selfridges and I was like, damn, like, I really like these Jacques Mousse bags and the coach bags. But I was like, but they're so expensive. And is this going to be like out of style by next year? That's the thing about like trendy pieces like that. I don't like buying them because it's like they stick to a specific point in time. Maybe not the coach bag because that's kind of timeless. But the Jacques Mousse bags, like, I think they're so beautiful. But at the same time, I'm like... This is gonna remind everyone of 2021, 2022, this area of time. Like it's not a bag that has longevity, although they're very nice. Um, I don't know, and I, I'm, plus I really like to think things through if I'm gonna spend like hundreds of pounds on one item. I give it a miss, but I did look at them. But what I did buy, I went to the beauty hall, of course, and I got some things. So I've been meaning to try this for so long, the Refai, Brow Pencil and Brow Sculpt. 
I got them to try. I thought that'd be really cute. I kind of wanted like the blush too, but there was no sales assistants around and I couldn't see them there. So I, I, want, I want a cream blush, but maybe in time. If these are really good, then I might get the cream blush. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try these. Hopefully they're good. Then I went to Pat McGrath. I've never had anything from Pat McGrath before, but I just wanted to try it out. I love this packaging. Throwing it about yet again. I love this packaging. And then the back like opens like this. I just got a lip gloss. We know I'm a gloss girl. So I got this lip gloss. It's beautiful. It has like beautiful shimmers in it. It's called Faux Real. F-A-U-X. Faux Real. Yeah, I really like it. It's more like a sheer kind of, oh, it's like a sheer kind of lip gloss, but it feels so nice on the lips. Like she tried it on me in the shop. She feels like you're not wearing anything. Like, well, obviously it feels like you're wearing something, but it doesn't feel like a gloss. It feels like it could just be a lip balm. It's really nice. Not sticky at all. Super comfortable on the lips. And I just think it looks cute. It's a nice little bit of something, something. Then I saw this, and I've heard about this brand. So they're called A Gulp. And it's basically like a vitamin that you put in water. And then you drink it and it's good for you. Ugh. Oh shit. Wait, do you put it in water? I don't know what you do with it. Oh, you don't put it with water. You just look down it. There's only seven in here. So you'd have to buy a box of these every week. That's expensive. But I got it and it's for the brain. So this is amino acids and B vitamins, liquid food supplement solution containing lemon balm, which helps maintain a positive mood and zinc to help normal cognitive functioning. I definitely could use this. So I've just had this brand, so I'll start trying them. I can't believe you just, it literally is just a gulp. I get it now, it all makes sense. Then I made one biggish purchase. So I was walking around the perfume part and I was like, oh, like smelling the perfume. I went to the sunglasses bit. I was like, oh, maybe I should buy some sunglasses. And I was like, no, Emma, you literally have 30 pairs of sunglasses. You don't need any sunglasses. I went to the perfume bit. And I mean, I have like 10 perfumes. I don't need perfume. But I just wanted to like, I like to sniff them. I like to sniff them. I've seen this brand online before. It's called Montal Paris. And so I was just smelling a few of their perfumes. Then I smelled this one which is called Sensual Instinct. And I just carried on about just shopping, like smelt it and I was like, that's really nice. Went away and I was like, I need to go back to that perfume. It is absolutely unreal. I'm just, I feel like I'm really in the corner of this frame. Hold on, that's better, isn't it? Okay, I went away and I was like, I need to go back to this perfume. It smells insane. It's a luxury, nice gold box. It comes in a bag, it comes in this beautiful little bag. This is the bottle. Is this not gorgeous? Look at this. It's got a little charm here. Okay, so the perfume is called Sensual Instinct. This is one of the sexiest perfumes I've ever smelled. Like, it smells unreal. Oh, I don't know what it is. Like, it's super sexy. So it, to me, it's very fruity. Like, it almost gives me like mango, passion fruit, like really like tropical fruity, but with like musk and amber and like so a little bit of vanilla like on the base like maybe like a sandalwood um so it like has the earthiness and like the grit but then it has like the flirty look at me being a perfume describe a perfume connoisseur it's just the perfect sexy fragrance to me like i smell this and i think oh like i picture me wearing this like full makeup done hair done bad bitch outfit on sexy it's just sexy I feel like if I came near anyone that smelled like this, I would be like, damn. It smells like luxury as well. Like, if you can go and smell this, go and smell it. It's beautiful. I didn't even know the notes on it, so then I Googled it. Let me go on my favourite website. I'm obsessed with a website called Fragrancita. And it basically, like, tells you all the notes in perfumes and stuff. So when I started getting a bit more into perfume, I was on here constantly. The top notes is roasted coffee beans, which I actually would never get. I don't know. I don't get that. It's so funny. That's why you have to smell perfumes in the like in person because I would I would rule that out just off that and it's like so nice. So the top note is roasted coffee beans. Middle notes is praline and rose. Base notes oak, moss, amber, cedar. So it doesn't even say there's any fruity things in there, but maybe the praline makes it like sweet. It's definitely a sweet fragrance, but it's sexy because I don't like something that's hella hella sweet. But I don't know that this just smells incredible. 
I think for me, I love amber fragrances. So if something has like a nice amber to it, I'm obsessed. So I bought myself that. That was my purchase. So happy with it. And then they also gave me some samples. Inito perfumes. Okay, let's smell it. Inito side effect. The tobacco, vanilla, rum, cinnamon harmony of this fragrance is spellbinding. That don't sound spellbinding to me. Oh, oh, this is definitely a man's fragrance, but it's kind of sexy. If I smell a man wearing that, I'll be like, damn. Ooh, it smells like grown man who wears a suit and tie and works in finance. Probably will break your heart. And then we have this one, Inito Oud for Greatness, also called Black Gold. Oud is renowned for its countless blessings. Well, I'll fucking throw it my way, hun. Why is she giving me like men's fragrance samples? That was very bold of her to assume that I have a man in my life. No. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> no, no, no. No, that's so nasty to me. I just don't think I like Oud at all. But this one. Oh, this shit's nice. Inito side effect. If you've got someone, a man in your life, that's nice. So that's my haul. That's my little shopping spree. And then, oh, I went to um, Boots as well and I bought this brawn body trimmer to um, trim my lady garden, basically. Because at the moment I'm like liking, liking having a little triangle and I think it makes me feel really sexy so we need that trimmed. Also bought myself a half bottle of wine. It's even a half bottle, it's like a, it's like a one glass bottle of wine. Because I thought, I want a glass of wine. Bought myself that. And a kind of, kind of winner to eat in bed later. Guys, I'm so happy. Um, I'm going to actually order room service right now. Let's go and get the menu. Let's get the bill per. In room dining, we've got stone baked flatbread. Don't fancy that. Cauliflower katsu. Mm, don't fancy that. Cumbrian ribeye steak. That's something kind of nice. Prime beef burger. Don't want that. Miso Caesar salad. Don't want that. A selection of nibbles and light bites. So we have truffle and artichoke, pesto and hummus dips. That sounds nice. We've got calamari or crispy panko salmon. Barbecue cauliflower wings. Oh, guys, I kind of want the steak. <laughs> I feel like I'm here to treat myself. Why not order the steak? You know, 10, in 10 inch. No, no, that's not what I meant. 10 ounce ribeye. 10 ounce, how much is that? I'm not good with the ounces. 10 ounce in pounds. Can you imagine I'm about to eat a pound of steak? Oh, it's half a pound, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for that. It is 35 pounds. Oh, she's not cheap. She is not cheap, but I'm here to fucking enjoy myself is what I am here for. And then desserts. We have sticky date cake. That sounds <laughs> unreal. Caramelized banana, rum, clotted cream, ice cream. Oh, I love clotted cream. Oh, we've got a cheese board. Passion fruit cheesecake. No, I'm 100% getting sticky date cake. So that's basically sticky toffee pudding, which is what we like to see. Oh, should I get a pudding? Like, I want a pudding, but what if I'm full? And what if the ice, well, the ice cream is gonna melt because I can't eat it that fast. I wonder if I can get a drink as well. What's the drinks menu saying? It's about time we call the room service. Why was that so sinister? Why was I so angry? Hello. Hello, I just wanted to order some room service, please. Can I get the steak, please? A uh, medium rare, please. Can I do triple cooked chips? Can I do a drink as well? Could they make like a French martini? Is that okay? And then could I also get a sticky date cake as well, please? Okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> we got it, bitches. Chocolate vanilla sorbet cookie crunch, please. Oh my God, the room service is here. So we have the steak and the chips. This looks so good. I need to eat it right now. So we got steak, chips, onion rings, pepper sauce, a French martini. And we got this for dessert. This looks so good. Basically sticky toffee put in with ice cream and caramelized bananas. <laughs> okay, let's do a first sip together. Chin chin cheerio. 
Oh, that's nice. I'm into a French martini, me. I don't really know what's in it. I think it's like Chambord and pineapple juice and vodka and all sorts. I'm gonna enjoy this. This pose has me in a chokehold, the actual chokehold. Chokehold? Chokehold. <laughs> I'm so happy. We've got some steak. We've got the sauce. This peppercorn sauce is so peppery. The steak is splendid. I would give the steak maybe like Mm, a good A out of 10. The chips, I give these a good 9 out of 10. The drink, definitely strong. Nice. That's like, maybe like a 7 out of 10 because I like it a bit sweeter. Mmm. Delicious. Before it melts, let me try this. My dessert. Because I can see it melting. Oh my god, this shit looks so good. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. The cake tastes like banana y. I'd, I'd go over like five cents, it's like a 9.5. I think I'm dehydrated. I'm drinking so much water. And I'm watching Night Day Fiance clips on YouTube. Guys, I am so tired. I'm so tired. I just ate my food. I think it's wiped me out. I ate it and then I was on FaceTime to my friend. And now I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna wash my face and have a shower and go to bed. This is a face wash I brought with me. Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Cleansing Oil. Cause I didn't want to bring my big like Elemis cleansing balm, but I do have a bit of makeup on. So take off my jewelry, tie my hair up. I actually really enjoy wearing my hair in like a claw clip. but trying to make it look good can be hard at times. It's like an effortless hairstyle, but it isn't easy to make it look effortless. Like it takes effort to make it look effortless. I hate when, I hate things like that. I really like this cleanser, this Midnight Recovery Oil. I love an oil cleanser because I have dry skin. As we all know, I always stop fucking banging on about it. I had a facial yesterday and my skin feels really nice. I just love these like oil or balmy cleansers because they just melt everything away. The lighting in this bathroom is superb. I'm gonna have to come back and stay here. Gorgeous. I had a couple really bad breakouts on my chin um, this month. I think my hormones were just all over the place. But this one here, oh my days, it was so painful when it came up the other day. Like, it, you know the ones where it's actually not a spot? Like, it's just like a big red bump. Yeah. And then one down here, which was also nasty. So, I'm thinking, I'm going to get in the shower. A scrub-a-dub-dub -dub of my body. I just want to, want to, want to, I want to exfoliate. So I've actually brought this with me. This is from a small brand called Chem Beauty. They're a black owned UK based brand. They sent me a few of their pieces. So they sent me the body scrub. I've got more at home, but I just brought these with me. So I've got the body scrub, the body mask and the body oil. So look how cute this is. I think these are travel size, this one, but I just thought I would use this. I've got my exfoliator mitt. I love these. Also my body brush. I think I'm gonna start body brushing every day because I just get, oh my God, my face is so soft. Um, I get really dry skin on my legs and where I get loads of ingrown hairs. So I think I might start doing this every day. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this or not. I need to look on their website how it's used. Also this is my favorite lotion at the moment, Sand and Sky Tasmanian Spring Water Body Lotion. Like it just seeps in so quickly. Like it's a really nice lotion that just absorbs that quick and a little bit that goes a long way. And then I also have a face mask that I might do. I might actually lie in bed right before I go to sleep, read a little bit and have an, uh, a mask on. And these eye patches. So this is a, a spa clean and green detox mask. I think I got this in one of my advent calendars. I've never used this before, so that'll be nice. I did bring my journal so I could like look over my goals that I set earlier in the year and like make new ones but i'm so tired right now i think i'm gonna have to save that for tomorrow when i get back to my house um i think i'm just gonna read a little bit maybe watch some tv then in the morning i'm gonna wake up and go for breakfast and then come back to my room sort my stuff out go for a massage and then back to mine 
back to mine. I can't get a brush off. My skin is. I had like the facial I had yesterday. I had um, microdermabrasion. And I feel like I know I shouldn't touch my face, but it makes my skin so soft. <laughs> I just got ready. I'm gonna quickly nip to get some breakfast. I've only got about 20 minutes before my massage. Here's my outfit, all body tea, these new look jeans, ASOS belt, same shoes, same everything, just different top. Hairs and a little collet at the back. Which I'll have to turn around like this to see, because oh my god, my bum. I think it looks cute. So let's go get some breakfast. <laughs> isn't a spa like a pool it's like a dry spa so it's just like treatment rooms a relaxation room and a gym the treatment was nice i love a massage like i haven't had one in ages and I'm, every time i get one i'm like i need to do this more often but i'm just gonna wash off this body scrub oh so let me show you the robe so she was like um you know after the body scrub like we can put you in a robe you can go and shower the scrub off i was like okay oh, you should bring our robe because i don't know if it'll fit let me show you it just about fits like just when you go to these spas, the ropes are never big enough. And I'm like, I need to bring my own rope to these places, but this one just about fits. It's, it's good enough to walk from one area to the next area. Let's shower this scrub off. I'm all showered, feeling fabulous, feeling fly, feeling hot and tempting. No, stop. My body is so soft. I'm gonna carry on these um, good vibes because I'm not gonna lie to you, something happened to me this morning that sort of like threw my mood off and I'm like, ah, oh, did it just ruin? It hasn't ruined my time, obviously it hasn't because I've had a really good time, but it's thrown my mood off a little, moon, my mood off a little. So I'm like, I need to reestablish my mood back. So I love pottery painting. So I think I'm gonna go and paint some pottery. There's a place in Berry. there's a slot at half past two, so I might just book it and just go, because that makes me happy and I feel like that's something for my inner child that would make my heart sing. So I might go there with my friend because um, he said he wanted to do something today. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to book that and go and you guys can come with me there too. So we're at the Paint and Pot Cafe. I'm choosing this mug with a flower on. And I think I want to do I feel like this kind of design with the, like the Turkish design, but I don't know what color. So, this is my finished mug. I did a flower and then we did like, it looks neon on the camera. It looks cute. I think it's gonna be really good when it's fired. Just did little dots and little flowers. My friend is now copying me and putting dots all over his mug. 
but I'm happy with that. I think it's gonna look really good when it's glazed. And then, this is my friends. I mean, it, it was looking a bit reckless at first, wasn't it? But then we, we put an outline and we put some dots. I like it. It looks, especially this side. That looks good. Hello everyone, it's now Monday. I just finished editing this video and it was so cute. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna do this more often when like, I just take myself away, bring you guys with me because it was so fun. I had the best time. Thank you, the Lowry, for letting me stay there for the night um, because it was gorgeous. I will 100% be back. A lot of the things that I've used in this video, like beauty stuff, I'll put in the description box down below. I actually have another like, self care video that I filmed, like just me at home doing like a pamper routine and also me getting my nails done, facial, all that good stuff. So I don't know if you want like two self care videos in a row, but maybe that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. Look what I'm wearing, I'm wearing an all body jumpsuit. It's not finalized yet, it's not finished. It has some tweaks still to do to it, but I love it. So I'll see you guys soon with a new video. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon guys, bye.